I've always stood up against violence. In fact, why I got reinvolved in politics in the late 1990s was on this very issue. I'd been working on a resolution on a conservation issue, Ilaho Valley, north of Vancouver, and um, there were young people involved in that who stood in nonviolent protest on a logging road. Loggers came in and beat them up and burnt their camp. Some of them ended up having to go to hospital. I went over to Victoria and I asked the government, it was a Glen Clark NDP government at the time, to, to put a moratorium on the logging there so it would give us a chance to work out a resolution. Instead, the Premier got up in the House and said he understood the frustration of the loggers. Not one member of that Legislative Assembly, not one NDP, not one Liberal got up to say violence was wrong. That was it for me. I got back into politics. You may not know that the Green Party in Canada, and in fact Green Parties everywhere, have a very strong track record on LGBT issues. In fact, we were the first national party to have an openly gay leader in Canada, Chris Lee, in the 1990s. We were also the first party nationally to openly call out in support of same-sex marriage. We also, as a party, are the only one that includes in our founding principles nonviolence and respect for diversity. I think we all know we've come a long ways on LGBT issues in Canada, but we have a ways to go. As the MP here in Vancouver Centre, I would work to make sure that the criminal code of Canada is amended so that violent acts against people in the LGBT community, acts based on gender identity or gender expression, are included so that in fact these would become criminal acts. I would work to amend the Human Rights Code so that the rights of the LGBT community are protected. And I would advocate that Canada take a leadership role internationally to end state-sanctioned violence against and discrimination against members of the LGBT community.